morning and we're starting up a weekly vlog here. I had my breakfast this morning, I've gone ready for the day and we're headed to the gym. We've got a bunch of things planned this week. Some things more exciting than others, but I know you dudes love to see it all kind of vlog and what I get up to in a week. We're training up a body today. I've got this fit on from Honor Active. It's their legendary one piece that I've paired with some joggers. It's getting colder now that we're in the month of September, end of September, October next week. Also, it's an upper body day, so I can wear joggers and won't feel too overheated. I really don't know how people do it on a leg day. I get so overheated. I have to wear shorts and a sports bra. I tried wearing shorts and a long sleeve top yesterday. I just get so overheated, overstimulated that I need to remove it. The thing that is bothering me, which is the long sleeve top. But the thing I love most about this one piece is the back. And we are doing a bit of back and upper today. So very good, very nice. Love, love, love it. They just know what we want. They just know what we want. <laughs> for a pumpkin focaccia. The reason being I'm not showing the steps is because I don't know if it's actually gonna work as it's my first time actually trying a pumpkin focaccia. I use pumpkin puree in the mixture. So hopefully it turns out like a normal focaccia would, but we're feeling experimental. We will only be able to find out tomorrow when the dough has doubled in size and grown overnight. I'm leaving it from now, which is about three o'clock, 3 p.m. till the morning time tomorrow. Fingers crossed. She will grow she will in all her glory, glory and will and make, we'll a, make beautiful a beautiful pumpkin for catcher. I'm gonna be getting on doing some editing right now. We've got a run planned later on today. With my runs, I've been doing literally only one 5K run a week now. I used to do two, but I've limited it to one because I felt like it was a little bit excessive for me. I'm not training for a marathon and I just do a run out of enjoyment through the week and I'll pick a day where I know I will feel motivated to do that run. Today it's looking good and I'm looking forward to that 5k run later today. It is Wednesday morning and I'm out the house much earlier than I usually would be. I woke up a little bit earlier as well. Amandu is on his late shift today, but he's off getting a haircut. Sometimes I will train on a Wednesday, sometimes I won't, but today I'm training on a Wednesday as I'm getting all my workouts in before the weekend. I'm hosting on the weekend, so I kind of want it to be clear. I'm gonna try and do my session and get back before Amanda gets back or relatively the same time. It's a leg day today. I'm on the hunt for some munchkin pumpkins for the Saturday. I'm hosting a autumnal meal with some girlfriends. I've got a whole table set up in mind and I need these munchkin pumpkins to complete them. The vision is there, the vision is there. <laughs> I'm back from the gym. We had a glute session, glute pump. Um, we are off to the shops now. Like I said, it's Mondo's late shift today. I love a Wednesday for that reason. I'm putting on my coat and I'm gonna find some munchkin pumpkins. We found our munchkin pumpkin. Back from the shops, we got our pumpkin. I also got a pumpkin for myself tonight. Like I said, Amanda's on his late shift, so I'm gonna be making a pumpkin soup tonight. Bit of a girl dinner with my homemade focaccia, grilled cheese focaccia. Gilmore Girls in the background, which I'll let you know into a fun fact, if we can, if we can call it that. I've never watched Gilmore Girls, and so many people hype about it, but I'm just been out there, I've never watched it. I watched the first episode, and I was sucked in. I can see why it gives cozy vibes. So I'm gonna watch episode two tonight. I have given her a bit of a look-see to see how she's growing. And I mean, I don't know if you can see from there, but she has grown in size. This morning I stretched out for the final time and I've left her from 7am this morning up until 3pm again today just to do another bit of a rise. I think because it has pumpkin in it, it makes it slightly 
slower. It's not like a normal focaccia where it just grows and grows and grows and grows really quickly. Maybe the pumpkin slows the process down a bit. I'm not quite sure the specific detail. I'm not an expert at making bread, but I give it my best shot. The oven is hot, so I'm ready to place her in. We're just gonna do a stretch once again, and then we're just gonna drizzle on some olive oil, create some dimples, add some rosemary, which I've just glazed with the olive oil so the rosemary doesn't burn as much. I'm loving the colour of this focaccia already, it definitely gives pumpkin. This rosemary is actually from Armando's parents house, we just plucked it from their rosemary tree. Fresher than ever. Genuinely, she smells incredible. She's gonna taste it. I've already been having a bit of a nibble with the crumbs and the piece of bread that's chipped off whilst I cut it into six pieces. But I'll probably have this dipped into my soup tonight, whether I add cheese to it or not. She's just gonna be the perfect bread to dip in a pumpkin soup. Amando is getting ready for work. I can literally hear him dotting his feet upstairs, <laughs> running around getting his bits and pieces. Girly night to myself, which we love. Same usual thing, I'm gonna be doing some editing now. I'm actually filming tonight's pumpkin soup for a reel, so you will see that on my Instagram, but I'll show you then results of the pumpkin soup that I make for this reel tonight. It's just a cozy little day. It is raining outside, pouring of rain, and I'm glad that I don't have to be in it, but Armando sadly has to. session once again. Amanda actually finishes earlier today but he's playing badminton with his mate. I did not get invited but we have come to an agreement now that myself and his mate's girlfriend will join him one day in the badminton tournament that they regularly do without us. <laughs> I can't say I'm the best at badminton. It's a bit of fun. Going to a different gym today, essentially my current gym has banned tripods which I can get. There are some inconsiderate people on the internet, especially, which kind of abuse the use of a tripod or filming in the gym, kind of invading other people's space or like mocking them. And that is horrific. I would never dream to do that. I would never dream to film anyone in the gym, um, nor try and get anyone in my background on purpose because that's just not what I'm about. Everybody deserves their own space to train, work out and move their bodies in ways that they want to move their bodies. And people should be able to do that freely without people judging them. We all start from somewhere and maybe seeing someone's day one or a beginner in the gym, doing something that doesn't look right or something like that, doesn't mean you've got to go and film them. So I don't agree with people that do that because I think it's so disrespectful, but I think that's a bit of common sense. <laughs> and just about being considerate in the gym. But unfortunately, that's what it's come to in my gym that I go to regularly. So I'm going to a different gym today in the hopes of filming my body session for a reel that I have planned for the ground. My week is really determined by what reels I wanna film during the week, what I've got planned to be on my feed, and then my life kind of shapes around that. Same goes for our weekly food shop, our meals that we're having um, for dinner. It just makes everything a little bit more organized. I can stay consistent. I can be in a routine with it because I love a routine. I love structure. I'm not one of these people that can just magically come up with something on the spot. I love to plan things, structure things, yada, yada, yada. Don't want to bore you. I'm going to go for my body session and we'll catch up. Tesco's I've unpacked and I'm about to make dinner. We went shopping because we are having a pie night tomorrow with Amanda's parents. I'm gonna lay the table tomorrow, make the pies and also have some side dishes like vegetables, potatoes, peas, broccoli as well to have alongside the pie with some gravy. Should be very nice, very comforting 
very cozy. Right now I'm making us some dinner. It's not gonna be anything extravaganza. We're gonna be watching a TV series that we have been watching through this week and a bit of a nature planet earth episode as well. We love watching planet earth and like nature documentaries at the end of the day. There's just something to it that we've been doing recently and we really have been enjoying it. I don't know what it is. We've just been really loving it. <laughs> Friday afternoon, myself and Amanda have been to the gym. I went to his gym today. We're back and it is the beginning of the pumpkin dinner party prep. I have carved out a pumpkin. Thank you so much to Aldi to actually having a full size pumpkin. They had the munchkin pumpkins um, in the Aldi that we went previously, which is perfect because I'm going to be using them to put their names on them and I'll just pop it on the plate for where they're going to be sitting around the table. Now, I saw this idea online and I thought it was really nice. They made a full size pumpkin into a vase, so that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. The pumpkin is not going to be wasted. Let's not think that. Let's not jump to conclusions. It's not going to be wasted. You're not in the shot. I'm is literally in the background. But you're not. Say hello though. Yeah, I'm in the shot. Are you? Oh yeah, you're in the mirror. <laughs> that's, pretty, that's quite creepy. Ooh. Um, so I got this and I got myself some autumnal coloured flowers. So I'm going to chop the flowers, put them in the pumpkin in a cup. So they stay alive and the pumpkin is also not going to get funny inside. <laughs> How beautiful has she turned out? I may have to rearrange her just slightly to see how the flowers fit nicely in the pumpkin. For example, let me just pop that there. It might look nicer with a pop of orange. Isn't that is so adorable. What a great idea. Beautiful. I just love it. It's time to lay the table. I've literally chucked this on as a little evening fit. It's nothing fancy, we're just having flies. Um, but I thought I'd check something on. Just a denim skirt and a neck jumper as it's slightly chilly outside. I've done one big cleanup of the house as well. I would usually do this kind of cleanup on a Sunday, like a kind of Sunday reset, ready for the next week, la 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 la, or potentially a Monday. But since we're having guests over today and tomorrow, I did the whole shabam. Living room, conservatory, dining area, kitchen. I'm gonna lay the table, put on the oven, start making the pies and the veg, and then we'll have a lovely evening. set up the table and laid all the plates out. As I mentioned, I'm filming for Instagram, so I've made a reel. So if you want to follow along and see what I did to create this table and what I'm adding to this table later today, it will all be on my Instagram, including all the recipes that I am making for tonight as well. I have five guests coming over, including myself. I did invite Amanda to come and join us, but he'll be in his office watching his shows. The evening is pumpkin themed, so we've got a lot of pumpkin going on on the table here. Let me show you around. She's a very cutesy table and I already love the way she's looking. I've also got the ceramic pumpkins laid out. When we finish our food, we're gonna paint the ceramic pumpkins. Initially, I went with the idea of making our own candles, but logistically running back and forward to the kitchen with the food and everything like that and trying to host, I guess. It wouldn't logistically work out, I would say, in the form of a dinner party. Earlier this afternoon, I've been doing a lot of the prep work in the kitchen, which will be on the Instagram reel. I've got about 10 minutes until I throw the pumpkin, the homemade pumpkin buns in the oven, ready for the evening. The guests are arriving at 6 p.m. tonight. And I'm just so excited. Guys, I think I have outdone myself. And I'm not even joking. I absolutely love how this turned out. Everything turns out incredible. It smells incredible and I can't wait for everyone to arrive to just enjoy the beautiful evening that we've got planned. Let me take you around. So we've got the pumpkin rolls and I made a vegan garlic butter. I then got this pumpkin mac and cheese. It's crispy, 
It's creamy, it's delicious. Then to finish off, I have made a strawberry pumpkin patch. Hopefully they resemble pumpkins because Amando claims that they don't, but I think they do. I think I did a good job. I think they look lovely and I think the whole table is gorgeous. <music> little badminton morning this morning myself and Amanda went to badminton and Amanda booked the badminton I wasn't the best but we're learning yesterday was Gorgina evening it was so wholesome cozy lovely loved it the girls enjoyed themselves as well the food was beautiful it all came together and I was so happy with it it's Sunday today I'm just gonna have a very chilled Sunday and get ready for the next following week let me know if you like this video by giving me a big thumbs up comment down below if you'd like another weekly vlog I've committed to the longer vlogs now so hopefully you enjoyed this vlog let me know if you did thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>